February is the month of love because of Valentine's Day, of course. This month inspired me to create my newest kit, Lulu and Simba. It's the love story between Lulu the cat and Simba the dog and how they miss each other when they are apart and how they cherish the times they spend together. Welcome to Plan With Me for February. It's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. I think unconsciously I created this kit romanticizing the relationship between my hubby and myself. My hubby has been away for extensive periods of time the past couple of years for business reasons. And so I miss him a lot. And when we get to spend time together, we really appreciate and cherish those moments. So let me show you this kit digitally first. It's a shame that my hands are shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. Oh, na, 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 na. Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love. Oh, oh, na, na, na. I don't know what I could say to convince you to hang around when you don't have to. There's so much that I'm still keeping. Cause you don't listen, babe But still you got me missing you When I see you, my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time If you missed how I made this cover out of a paper bag and how I put in the signatures, please see the Plan With Me playlist 2023 below where you can find that video. Let me start off by showing you what I've added since you last saw this journal. So January I used my Victorian steampunk kit. So this cover page for January we made together. And I still love the embossing that I added to the wings here and to the goggles and the goggles here. That is such a fun element. We added some page tabs here. Then I had this junk mail envelope here, added some paper in the background and then some clip art from my steampunk kit. Here I also added one of the clip art images from the kit and some background paper. Inside, the envelope I have this tag so I added some lace with a messy stitch especially because there is lace in the kit here and on the back I'm still going to add some journaling I sprayed some villainous potion distress oxide and also some distress mica stain in harvest moon to add a little bit of magic <laughs> And in particular, I'm going to journal about a trip I took in December to Paris for a few days to visit my dear friend Bea and her husband Patrick. And since I didn't really work in my planner that much in December, I decided to add these in January because the trip happened end of December. Here I didn't do anything. Here I just added this clip art with some paper underneath. I also added a stained book page here and one of the dragonfly images. Is there anything inside? No, not yet. I think I will add some journaling in the back as well. So I haven't really done anything here. Here I just added another one of my clip art images. This I think I've done in the last Plan With Me video, the stenciling. Yeah, so here I have a few keepsakes of my Paris trip. 
So we went to Disneyland one day and it was so cool to see Disney Paris because I know both Disneyland and Disney World in the US very well, but I've never been to the one in Paris. And of course there are unique attractions that you can only see in Disneyland Paris. And what was also really cool, it was the 30 year anniversary for Disneyland Paris and it was Christmas time. So all the Christmas decorations were up and the 30 year anniversary decorations. So that was really cool to see. I've never been to Disneyland in a cold season and it was really, really cold. So that was an interesting experience as well. This here was the ticket and I just glued that on this page on the three sides. I sprayed this with the Distress Mica Stain Iron Gate through a stencil, added this clip art and I left this side open so it would create a pocket and I added some tickets from the subway in Paris. This here was a luggage tag from the hotel where we stayed and in here I have one of my coin envelopes from the ephemera kit and I again used one of the tickets like this one as a closure. So I added a strip here into which I could just slip this into so that the coin envelope stays closed. And inside I think I just have, yeah, it's a business card from a restaurant that we went to. Added some stenciling here on the flap. So that's a really fun pocket and maybe an idea for you as well as a simple yet effective closure. So I sprayed this luggage tag again with the Iron Gate Distress Mica Stain. You know the name Iron Gate? That reminds me so much of the series Games of Thrones. <laughs> Yeah, and I covered up the Disneyland Paris so that I could still read that in the end. And inside this pocket, I just added some receipts. On this envelope, I also just added a bit of collaging. Then I added this here, which was my flight information. Added some stenciling in the back with clip art and here I added one of the journaling cards from the ephemera set. You can of course find all of the links for these in that video from my playlist that I mentioned earlier or you can just have a look in my shop. Here I added another clip art and I added it so that it would cover part of the window. I kind of like how that looks. This is a very chunky page. I added this envelope, which is also part of the ephemera kit. Inside, I added a postcard from Disneyland Paris. So this is what the castle in Disneyland Paris looks like. It's different than the one in the US and it's absolutely stunning. They have such nice gold details. Loved that. And it was so fun to receive this postcard. I just received that actually a couple of days ago, even though we mailed it before Christmas directly from Disneyland. And maybe that's an idea for you. If you go somewhere on a trip, send yourself a postcard because I sent myself this postcard and that will create so many memories when you get it in the mail. It'll be such a fun surprise. I completely forgot about this postcard and it made me so happy to receive this in the mail. And then this is just a brochure from, look how cute this is, from the hotel where we stayed, which was at Disneyland. It's called Sequoia Lodge. Look at the Bambi. It's just adorable. So I definitely wanted to keep both of these and they stay in here. Also added some stenciling here on the inside of the envelope. And I also wanted to keep this map. So the next day we went to this area in Paris, which is in the north. It's called Les Puces. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is basically a huge flea market and you can find a lot of antiques. It was so cold when we were there. So we didn't manage to stay that long here. I think this is, this is the whole area. It's really huge. But if you ever go to Paris in summer, you need to go there because it's absolutely amazing. This is also actually a pocket here. 
and that's it for January. I've also already put all my February pages in because you don't need to watch me glue things down. So you can see now what it looks like as journal pages. I added the February here the same way I added the January here using these thinlets by Sizzix Tim Holtz. They have the number 665924. I will link these for you below. And I used the larger of the two alphabets, which is one inch. I love this font. So this is Lulu thinking of Simba. <laughs> love is in the air. I thought this was the perfect title page for February. Then here we have the monthly overview. These numbers are too big for me. I, I just wanted to try it. These are my clickable stamps. Next time I will use a smaller stamp. Even though I don't intend on writing anything in these rectangles, it does look a bit odd, I think. <laughs> so I still need to do something with this paper bag. There's my 10K step tracker. Then here we have the first full week of February. So up until February 5th, I have here for my steampunk kit. And starting on February 6th, I'm using my February Lulu and Simba kit. I stamped all these dates myself using this stamp here, which came in one of the Your Creative Studio subscription boxes a long time ago. So this is my page where I'm going to write my to-dos. Look how cute they are. I think they're so adorable. And this is week two. We have a little paper here that we can add something to. Here's our lovebird page. This one I left empty. I still need to decide what to do there. So there's the next week. I love these colors here. Then we have this one here with Simba swinging in the tire. <laughs> Again, more space for some extra fun. And here as well. I have already cut out all my clip art, so that is ready to go. How cute is she with her little heart balloon? When I was creating this kit and I worked on it on my computer, I had the feeling there was too much cuteness. It was like cuteness overload. It was too cute for me. I did my best to add some not so, so cute elements. I'm, I'm not sure I succeeded. <laughs> but the interesting thing was once I printed it out, I felt totally different about it. And especially printed on this kind of paper, which is my 200 GSM paper. It has also this kind of vintage touch. So, so do you see the difference? For example, this, this clip art is printed on my matte photo paper. And this here is the 200 GSM paper. You see how this here on the left looks more vintage than this here. I will again show you the two different paper packages. So this is the matte photo paper, which has a much cooler tone which I used for my clip art. So that has 110 GSM, so it's a little bit thicker than regular copy paper. It's for inkjet, it says photo paper, alabaster. The brand is Schwarzwaldmühle, which is a German brand. And the paper I used for these, which is much warmer and vintage looking, is this one here, Techno Superior 200 GSM. So it's both for laser and inkjet, and it's really beautiful, thick paper. I love this paper so much. And I love printing my ephemera with this paper because then I don't have to back things like tags and stuff, always too flimsy when I print it on either regular copy paper or my photo paper. So printing it on this gives me a beautifully sturdy piece and I don't have to back it or anything. So first I want to add something here to this paper bag. So I want to choose one of my clip art images. They're so cute. <laughs> I think I really like her. So there's Lulu thinking of Simba. I think I have a heart stencil. Let me go look for that. 
So I found this, it's a pretty old stencil by Tim Holtz. It's called Hearts THS017. And it has hearts that get bigger. Why don't we add those to the background? And I think the Distress Oxide peeled paint would look really good together with that. So I'm going to use my makeup blending brush. Oh, that looks so cute. Yeah, that's adorable. So I'm just going to glue that on. I just have to smile when I look at these images. <laughs> How can you not smile looking at images like that? And then inside we could put a journaling card. Could add one of these two, maybe this one here. Yep, that will fit nicely. And since we have Lulu on the front, we could add Simba inside. So we have either this one or we have this one Aww. or this one with the flower. Oh my goodness. I think this one is best. Let me just double check. Yeah. I think this one comes out best with that background. The only thing I want to add is a piece of paper scrap here so that he's not floating. Okay, I'll go with that one. So I want to send a special greeting and hugs to Bea and Patrick for being so wonderful when I was there. They made my whole trip so magical. Thank you again, sweetie, for everything. It's a trip I will remember for the rest of my life. And I hope it won't be the last one to Paris. <laughs> I can do some journaling on the back. Do I want to add a little bit of interest maybe? So I don't have a blank backside. I think I'm just going to add some of the bigger hearts. And then I'll create a little tuck spot. And how about we add a little bit of color variety by adding some salvaged patina to maybe the bottom parts of the hearts. Yep, that's cute. Then we could take this strip, which is also part of the ephemera, and we could cut that down to fit the size of our journaling card. I'm going to give it the illusion of being sewn on this, but I don't actually want to sew it on because I don't want the sewing here on this side. So I'll go ahead and sew on these three edges. And what I also want to do is I want to add like a little tab on this side so it will be easier to pull it out of the paper bag. And I want that to be in fabric. So let me check my fabric scraps. I have this huge drawer here with fabric scraps. Let's see if I can find something that will work with these colors. Mm, that's a possibility. Oh, this one has little hearts on it. Look at that. Oh, and that's perfect. I love that color. Yep, that's what it's going to be. So that's going to go on here like a tab like that. And I want to sew that on as well. I'll first stitch around this and then we can glue that on. Okay, so I've sewn around that and now I can glue that on. By the way, I have a book review for you as well. So I can glue this on. So that looks like it's sewn on now. And then I'll use this here. And then I'll take this to my sewing machine again and sew right along the same line here. So this is the one side and that's the other side. This fabric was like made for this kit. This is incredible. <laughs> and then I can stick this inside. So basically, this is Lulu and Simba thinking of each other and 
thinking of the memory of when they were together. <laughs> so that can go in here. But we also need something on this side. So maybe I should take that out again for now. How about we take this large tag? Looks like they're going on an adventure together. <laughs> And we could add that as a belly band, but I don't want to leave this white. I'll use the same peeled paint. If you watch my videos, then of course you know that if you don't have Distress Oxides, you can obviously use watercolors or acrylic paints. I don't want to get this part here green, so I want to cover that up. Then we could spray a little bit of water and see how that will react. See some oxidation, hopefully. Let's take a paper towel and soak up that water. Oh yeah, wow. That is very visible. I like it. Do you see that? That looks really cool. And since we'll be seeing part of the tag on this side, I'm also going to use the peeled paint on the top and the bottom here. I'll add some stitching here and here, but then I'll just glue it on. So I have my stitching here and here, and I'm using double-sided tape to adhere that to my paper bag, mostly because I have a lot of it. <laughs> And I never use it, so I think this is a good opportunity to use that. So now we can add our journaling card. And we can also stick something here into the belly band. We could just take the second journaling card. So I left these quite plain so that you could add your own design on top. So let's check our clip art. I think most of this, if I want to use it, landscape format is going to be too tall. Oh, he would just barely fit. <laughs> He's so cute. Or we could just add the hearts. Oh, that would be cute as well. Or what about Lulu and her heart balloon? Oh, yes, I think that's what it needs to be. So again, I don't want her floating. Maybe one of these wallpaper pieces. Yeah, I think they have the right colors. Maybe this one. It just needs a little piece. And then I want to add something here. And I just found a stencil that I haven't used in forever. I believe I got this from Amazon Germany. If I can find it, I will definitely link this for you. And one of the smaller words here is believe. So I could stencil that here. And I will use the color Seedless Preserves because I think that's going to match this heart balloon the best. So oh, that's perfect. I went through my collage fodder and I found this one here, which has the perfect colors to match like our flower and our fabric here. So I'll just glue this onto this here. And I do prefer using glue stick when I glue down thin papers like that. It makes it so much easier. Do you do anything special for Valentine's Day? Is that something you like to celebrate with your loved one? And then I'll ink up the edges with vintage photo because that's what I used for the front as well. I don't know if my hobby is going to be with me for Valentine's Day. It's not something that is celebrated in Egypt, <laughs> as you can imagine. Okay, so I can journal here. We can stick her in here. Does she need a tab? She doesn't really because that's wide enough. Okay, so we have this. I love this. It's so cute. We have our little card in here. Yep, 
This makes me really happy now. We have this fun shape little piece. Maybe one of these would fit here. That could be cute. You could just staple it there. Or I would really love to use this. This is so cute. That would be adorable. But I definitely would need to back that with cardstock because this is flimsy. I found this cardstock, which I think will go really well with this kit. I read in a lot of your comments that you make journals for your grandchildren, or some of you are even saying that you are actually crafting with your grandchildren, which is even better. <laughs> That's so cool. And I think maybe this is a good kit, especially to do that with, be just because of the images. Oh, and one more reminder, I'm making all of my kits now both in US letter format as well as in A4 format, which is the one we use in Europe. So when you check out these papers, please make sure you get the right one. I have a tab in my shop where you can see all of my US letter formatted papers. That might be helpful for you to see them all at one glance. My older kits are not in that format yet. I hope to convert some of those into yours format eventually, but it's a lot of work because you cannot just change the paper size digitally and then upload them. These pages consist of a lot of different layers when you create them. So when you change the paper size, since the format is so different, the US letter format is wider, but not as long. So that means when I convert an A4 into a US letter size, I cannot just shrink the page, but I have to actually move each of these layers individually. So that takes a lot of time. So that's why I cannot just have them all available at once. So we now have it backed with this. So that's a lot better and it's a lot more sturdy. So I'm going to glue this on. And I just remembered I have this branch die cut which is from this thing that set 661806. I will also link this for you below. And I think this will go really well here because that will look like the tire is hanging from this branch. But of course, I'm not going to leave it white because we could hardly see that. So instead, I'm going to color it with Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide. That is dark enough. I have the feeling I would like to make this a bit more sturdy. So I'd like to add something here. And I think one of the tags might be a good idea. How about this one? Because this one would be an extension of this page here, which is about the lovebirds. <laughs> So, oh, that's like the perfect size and I can just snip off this corner. I could attach it as a pocket, either from here or from the top. I'll sew around it first and then I'll decide how to add it. After I sewed around it twice, I also took it to my vintage typewriter. <laughs> it went a little bit wrong. So I wrote, love you forever. I'm going to leave it. It's not so bad. <laughs> So I'm going to use double-sided tape and I decided I will add it as a pocket because I can always decide not to put anything in there. But if I just glue the whole thing down, then I don't have that option later. So I left this open here. And now I'm going to snip off the corner here. And we have this fun piece here. I just love odd shapes like this. They really make for an interesting surprise when you go through the pages, don't you think? And I think it's time for my book review. So I read I Shot by Taylor Adams. This is my second book I read by this author. The first one was No Exit. Very intensive, very edge of your seat kind of story. <laughs> That book was a lot and I remember thinking it was almost too intensive for me and even though I gave No Exit five stars, I wasn't sure if I could handle another book by Taylor Adams anytime soon. So here I am about a year later and I picked up this one which was almost as intensive. Let me just read you the synopsis on the back. 
gripping, thrilling, unputdownable suspense. In the middle of the desert, a couple are pinned down by a ruthless sniper. A suspenseful thriller that you won't be able to put down. James and L. Eversman are a young couple traveling through the Mojave Desert on their way to a new life. When their car mysteriously breaks down, they are stranded in the middle of nowhere without much water and no cell phone reception. A mile away, a deadly sniper has them in his crosshairs. They are pinned down behind their broken down car, surrounded by open ground on all directions. There's nowhere to run and no one to help them. How can they possibly survive? So in this book, we get the point of the view from both the sniper, who is a serial killer, and of the traveling couple. And we get to listen to their thoughts as well, which is sometimes a lot of fun. But the tension was excruciating at times. And there were so many times where there came a point where you think like, this is it. There is no way out. And then there's another twist. <laughs> so you definitely need very strong nerves for these kinds of suspenseful thrillers by Taylor Adams. But if you enjoy these kind of fast paced stories, this might just be for you. So I also gave this book five stars, even though I feel like I've been run over by a truck by the end. <laughs> But I guess that makes for good writing if a book can make me feel that way. It's not very long, so it's, it's a fairly quick read. And anyway, you can't put it down, so you'll definitely read it quickly. It has 282 pages. So I'll add a page here with all of my book ratings in the back. So I will show you that next time. This is definitely getting a little chubbier which is great i like that i cannot tell you how much i enjoy this kind of cover it's so squishy but it's sturdy this is by far my favorite type of cover i have made throughout my whole junk journal life which is close to five years so i think that says something i really hope you enjoy this kit as much as i do have fun with it. Check the links out in the description box if you want to have a closer peek. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah.